So let's build a REST API in Golang together. We will start very simple and we will build it up and put more interesting or maybe more uh, industry in standards libraries. <coughs> standard standard libraries or third parties to the project. Okay, so let's begin with, let's create a module. Go mod in it. I will use my GitHub account, but you can use anything you want. And I'm going to call it REST API blog. Good. We have GoMod here. And also, I want to create main.go. So, if you have main.go, make this one a little bit bigger. And here is main main and then find main fmt dot print ln welcome to well there is no welcome here this is a rest api let go there we go. The more specific, this is rest. So far, so good. Now we are going to have, we are going to add the uh, HTTP handler and HTTP server to the uh, project as well. To begin with, we are going to have uh, HTTP dot, well, to begin with, we're going to have one handle func, but we can have more and we're going to add up more very soon. Um, okay, so that will be HTTP dot handle func. And we are going to listen, for example, to the status. This is the route we are looking for. And here we're going to just serve a function because this is handle func. So the func is going to have two things. Uh, one would be a W, which is HTTP response writer. Response writer. And then we are going to have a R, which is an, a pointer to HTTP request. And once we have all of this, well, this is an anonymous function. We are going to just have, for example, I don't know, to begin with, uh, nothing very specific. So the this is just demonstration anyway. W, then our header would be HTTP dot status. By default, it is a status okay, but I just want to show we have a lot of status. So you're going to say okay. <coughs> and also we can say, I don't know, we can write something to the server, to the terminal, or we can just write something to the server. We're going to do both of them to begin with. So let's go here and just say log.println. Uh, I'm going to say slash status was called well, uh, was called and then we are going to return the header of well status code 200 and last but not least we can also do the uh, <coughs> Uh, we can have like some other other data as well. So if I want to just do write whatever I want, uh, it should be I think a byte here. If I'm not mistaken, yes, it is a byte. So it's a byte. Uh, was it byte or bytes? That's byte. Okay. Okay, and 
now that we have the server so we are logging something to the terminal we are changing the status code to 200 status okay we can have anything else and then we could well we are just returning okay to the server not to the terminal now that we have the handle func the next thing to have is quite simple so we are going to have http dot http dot uh, listen and serve so we're going to listen and serve so we're going to listen to the port uh, 3000 in this example and because we have handle func here the second thing would be the handler we don't need to provide any handler because it's been attached here so we are going to just pass nil the listen and serve could return an error so we are going to just uh, create a variable errors here error here and then we're going to check for the error so if error not nil then we are going to we are going to just quit the program or the server so in a nutshell this is the simplest web server we can ever have and if I do run go run main that go we have a server and to prove the point I have the postman here HTTP localhost and 3000 if I call this one the page is not found because we don't have anything uh, we don't have that route but if I go here and put status we have this route we should see a message here and a message here so we're gonna pass this one we get 200 we get okay and here it says status was called so far so good okay let's just add one more thing here I am going to uh, well this one could be a specific function so we can do the same thing here so if I want to create a function just handle uh, I don't know handle home or root I would just actually call it um, that's kind of the same thing if you want to follow in a set of uh, if you want to have another func but we want to have a specific function not uh, what is it called anonymous function so we can do the same thing I'm going to paste it exactly here and uh, well we can do all of this stuff but let's just copy and paste I am going to say slash root was called and then from here uh, well, we can keep this one there we have a lot of statuses I can use not implemented this is I think I'm not sure it's, oh, it's 501 and there is nothing there so here we are going to just the content type for here is plain text this is specific API if we are going to change it to JSON file well, well JSON response we need to do the following so before doing anything on a header so we need to just go to the response writer and define the header and then set it to so we do content uh, it's capital C and then capital T for type and then it's going to be application slash JSON is it gonna work we're gonna check now so I am going to run the server again yes it's allowed and then run the postman we are gonna get okay what is the header like header is JSON to have more JSON like um, value we can just have a structure but before going there let's look at what happened to the root 
501. That is correct because so it's not implemented. And if we want to have a JSON, that's also very easy. So if we're going to have some data, let's say status it will be a map, it's going to be a string and then a string. And then we're going to have a status. I don't know. This is just for demonstration, not really. In real world, you might not gonna do that, but let's say okay here. So we have some struct. We are going to, just with a JSON, um, create a new encoder and pass the uh, response writer there and then encode the data. It will do everything for us. It will do everything for us. So I'm going to say it's uh, JSON dot new encoder and code we are going to pass w okay just getting some errors very good so it's json new encoder w then encode what do we need to encode we are going to encode status um, i'm going to ignore this one for a second and stop the server, run the server one more time. Uh, let's see what do we get here. Where is that? Okay, it's here. Uh, let's call it status. And if I call it status, now we are gonna get an exact JSON file instead of plain text. But here the header is JSON and the body or the response is also JSON. Okay, to begin with, this is a very simple, <coughs> very simple HTTP server in Go. We are going to build on top of this a blog and we are going to add third party libraries and we are going to just improve it as we go. We're going to add tests as well. So just stay tuned for the next video, which is coming very soon.